Hey guys, this is all streamed out. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Uh, we still have uh, a little bit of our engine up here um, that we're going to be working on. Uh, maybe this episode we might wait a little bit longer. We'll see. Um, we just need money is really all we need. I don't think we have any barn. We have two barns that we can go through. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna save those because we need money. So because of that, we are going to be basically just, uh, taking some jobs and let's go ahead. We're going to go for the, um, let's go for the FMW Roadster Sport. And there it is. And let's see here. Um, we'll take the Miyavani Urse uh, because that should be an easy one. So let's put. This one in spot two. I'm going to move this one. Um, let's move that to our parking area. And let's grab this one and put that on lift one. And let's grab the Ribson Starline. That's another easy one with a uh, loud exhaust. And there's nothing with this one. There's just one, one part. Okay. Um, There it is. It's the middle muffler. So that needs to go on the left. That was not the loud exhaust. This one was. And three parts. So the reason I left that one out there and opened the hood was because I thought that maybe it would be like this one right here, the front exhaust section, but that, or Maybe the exhaust manifold, but yeah, it's um, got to be. Okay, so we have to get under for this one as well. And okay, we have nothing in our inventory. So here we go. Oh, we do have to take that off. Okay. We'll take the catalytic converter and the middle muffler. So we have to take this whole thing apart here. Okay, and then we get back underneath. And we take the front part off and then we're good. Okay. And I'm not sure what we have in our uh, warehouse. Should all be okay. Well, let's see this. Um, so we need a catalytic converter. Nope. Middle muffler. We 
we don't have the right one. And front exhaust section. Nope. Just a regular front exhaust section. We do not. Okay. And those, I think even if they were repairable, they are too low. So the catalytic converter, a front exhaust section, and a middle muffler. Okay, we'll bring that all the way down. Okay. And the cover, and then we're good to go. And we got 530 for that. That's not a lot. Let's move that one onto the second lifter. Underneath, and it is the middle muffler. That's an easy one. And we got 150 out of that, not a lot. Um, so over here, okay, no power, tapping sounds from engine bay. There's the water pump, the cam gear, and the belt tensioner. And then uh, five parts not discovered, no power, five parts not discovered. And okay, we've got some timing issues as well, and we have a list. So let's right on in here okay well there's the throttle Fuel rail. So is it just me or is there no battery here? There is seriously no battery. Okay, um, sure.
There we go. That's what needs to come off. Okay, and then before we get too far here, um... Let's go ahead and drain all the fluids. Make sure that we don't lose money from having to do a cleanup here. And we do still... No, we don't have our exhaust. Okay. No, we do. The middle muffler. There we go. Everything else is good on there. Um, move that to spot one. Drain the oil, and then we can take off anything that we need to, and everything is drained. Okay. And there were some more parts up there as well. So. Looks like the... Yeah, the intake manifold looks like it's pretty much done. Okay. Come on. Power steering pump. Okay, the water pump, and to get that off, um, I have to take these both off. Wow. Okay. And I just want to make sure, yep, it looks like the fuel pump is bad, and it is. Okay, that was part of that one. So two more things, and those are with uh, tapping sounds from the engine bay. Okay. So let's take these off.
Doesn't look that bad in there. Let's take off the engine head cover. That all looks fairly good. You know what? No. There we go. There's an ignition coil. Okay, so that's everything for the no power. There's still two for uh, the capping sounds. So let's go for the camshaft bearings. The camshaft looks okay there. And it's tapping sounds, okay. If it was no power, it probably could have been a fuse. Yeah, we'll take the thermostat off. Okay, those look okay.
those from up here look okay. Okay, um, let's get underneath. This one's not good. The rest of them look okay. Yep, everything else there looks okay. Um, well, there's a problem, right? Yep. We have everything. Okay. So we're going to fix everything on here that we can. Whoops. That's the only thing on there I need is a starter. That's just a regular starter, a V8 starter. Nope. Okay. And what else did we need? Let's sort by condition. Let's do this one first, front exhaust section C. It should be this one. CV6B. Yep. Uh, cam gear. I need uh, three of them. V6Bs. Okay, cam gear. Four of them. Crankshaft bearing cap and a belt tensioner. Okay. Water pump and a throttle. Let's see here, V six B. Throttle. V six B. We already have a starter. Yes. We 
do not. Okay, a starter and an ignition coil. Okay, right, right, right. V8 starter. And an ignition coil. There we go. So we should have everything we need to uh, put this back together. else yep there is um for underneath we go yeah <clears throat> this one wasn't too bad i think everything else is Everything else is from the engine bay. Okay. Camshafts. Let's uh, get the get the exhaust manifold on. I prefer these camshaft bearings to the other ones that we work with. A little bit less work to do, less time consuming. <clears throat> Those on. Got the intake manifold.
Okay, we are just about done here. Oh, we missed the idler roller, okay. Okay, so this right here should be it then. Just everything over here. Should hopefully get us a decent chunk of money. We do need to put all the uh, plugs in too. The plugs and coils. Okay, then this right here, I believe, is going to be it. Starter. Okay, looks like that's it over there. Yep, and the fluids. Okay. So this one was actually fairly easy. Uh, the more money we get, the better off we'll be. Okay. And yeah, that looks like that's it. Okay. Now we didn't get a lot. Um, 
take the Porsche 911. Looked like that was just exhaust and it was just about to run out. And gearbox shifts rough on shifts rough on the Jaguar. Let's take that one. So this one, there is one. It's a Porsche. Of course, it would be in the back. There's the issue. Let's move that into spot two. You are the problem. That's the only problem. That is the only problem. Okay. And... Rear exhaust section B. Okay. Um, I doubt we have it. We don't have any rear exhaust. Okay. So that one is rear exhaust section B nine six four RS. Where is it? 964S. That is not the one. This one. There we go. Get that one out. And $275 for that. Gearbox shifts rough one part. One part. And I'm probably going to have to, uh, wait a minute. It's the gearbox itself. Okay. We're going to bring that all the way up. Starter needs to come off. Come on. And the drive shaft. Gearbox V12 HE.
Gearbox V12. Nope, we have a couple M120s. We don't have an HE. Okay, Gearbox V12 HE. We don't have that, I do. Um, Gearbox V12. HE. Ooh. Well, that saved us a little bit. Okay, that's an easy one. Okay, let's bring it down, fill it with oil, and we're good to go. All right. Oh, the starter, of course. We can't get to it from here, can we? We can. There we go. So let's go ahead and everything in here can be sold. Everything's under 30%. There we go. And we did not have another car out here, did we? We did not. Let's uh, grab one. We've got some time. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to take the Edgewood Hellcat. It is a story. I'm coming to you with a very sentimental task. The Hellcat is the only piece of my grandma I have left. The condition may not be perfect, but I really care about making it into something that would resemble production condition. Grandpa takes great care of it, but he's showing his age just like this car. He could use a fresh approach to this subject. I want to surprise him. The condition of exploitation elements should be fine, but the rest of the more difficult to access parts should have surpassed the capabilities of Grandpa. Please take care of this classic piece for me. See you. Okay. And uh, three pages of undiscovered parts. Uh, change the oil, and, uh, okay, yeah. Let's see if we can take this out. We cannot. <clears throat> okay. I uh, probably knew I probably didn't. Worth a shot, though. Uh, let's, okay, engine can't be started. Let's do a simple multimeter check. 
starter. Looks like the engine heads are not all that good either. Um, okay. So we'll take this out. We'll see if this can be the... Um, we don't have a V8 starter. And that is... Probably not going to be repairable. No. Okay. Nope. Back. We want the V8 starter. Okay, we'll put this in, and if it doesn't start, then we'll bring the whole thing in to the shop. Um, because at that point, we're going to have to go digging for what's wrong. Okay. So let's move this into spot one. Okay. Let's get this all the way up and take all the oil out. Okay, well, the fuel pump is bad. Okay, that's going to be in here then. Let's grab the pump. We'll get that put in. Okay, it can't be started, but I don't know if that's... Hmm, I kind of want to... Yeah, I'm going to put oil back in. And we're going to check the air filter as well. Yeah, the air filter is good. Okay. Where did it go? Right here. So yeah, we're going to fill this back up. Um, I think the engine blocks are both going to need to be replaced. 
Uh, if we can get this... in condition to, um... to work, let's also... check the fuses. Actually, I did go through the multimeter and it, yeah, so that should, that should be, should be fine. I didn't need to do that. So we'll get those back in. Okay, now can we take this out to the track? We cannot. Okay. So it is something bigger. So because of that, we are just going to go ahead and... Um, Start taking stuff apart. And let's actually start down here. Ooh, crankshaft is definitely bad. I believe we're going to have to take that off to get to the crankshaft and take it off. So, uh, there might be some bad stuff in the gearbox as well. So, we might as well check everything while we're under here. It does look like uh, maybe, the, maybe the flywheel. Or maybe even the uh, clutch plate. Yep, there's the plate. Okay. So we need to take all of those out, even though it looks like all of the pistons are good. Since the crankshaft has to come out, we can't have anything attached. Okay, and yeah, it looks like we might have to actually take those out as well. Um, but yeah, that looks like... Oh! The oil filter. Okay. So now let's bring it back down and we should be able to do everything else from up here. Okay. So this all needs to come off. So 
the head covers. Okay, and this is the one with all the rocker arms. Done with this side. Oh, and we need to take all those rods out as well, we do. Yeah, yep, it looks like a lot of them are not good anyway. Okay. Uh, we'll just take all of these off. Take the uh, rods out. We'll see where we're at. Um, it looks like the uh, cross, the uh, suspension cross member might need to be replaced as well. That don't look too good. Okay. Well, it looks like we missed one. Okay. Right there. Okay, I kind of wondered if I had missed one. Okay, um... Let's start taking these off.
Yep. Yep. Okay, now I can take that off. No. What? Why can I not take that off? What's the issue? Okay, I see. There's a uh, belt right here. There it is. Then we can take the crankshaft. Um, let's take the cam gear off as well because that's not good. Okay, one, two, three, four, five parts not discovered. So I think what I might do, because that's got to be one of them. So I might just go wheel by wheel here and see if we can figure out if it's anything with the brakes. Nope. Those all look good. He did want those all, yeah, he did want those all aligned. That's basically what I'm doing right now is just making sure that there's Making sure that those five pieces aren't uh, break related. But yeah, I really do think one of them is the suspension. Um, all really look okay. My guess is it's going to have to do with the uh, rubber bearings. Okay, those 
all look okay. All right, well, let's see what we can fix here then. So everything else is in the green. Um, okay. Sixteen push rods. Wow. I don't think we even have a one. Nope. None of the right ones. Okay. Let's uh, sort by condition. Oil filter and crankshaft. Nope. Crankshaft. Which one? V8 OHV. No. We have an OHVF, but not a regular OHV. We don't have those. Cam gear, V8OHV. Nope. Serpentine belt B. Nope. Fuel pump we already put in. Clutch plate. Camshaft bearing or er, crankshaft bearing cap times two. Nope. We don't have that one. Engine head. Okay. Well, let's do this. Nope. Okay. Maybe a timing chain. Nope. Okay. Well then. First we need
Okay, we need the crankshaft to be a dough HV. Go. Oil filter V eight O H V. Okay, let's uh, get back up to the top. Okay, cam gear. Go. Let's get all these in. Go easy enough. Got one of them. Okay. Engine head V eight O H V and we also need valve push rods sixteen of them. Yep, and all the rocker arms are good. So at least there's that. We don't have to buy any of those. You know what, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we'll get this on.
Okay, so this should at least get it running, and then we can take it out and um, see what else it needs. See what we're missing. Because I am thinking that it's uh, probably going to be the, um, what is it, the suspension cross member and uh, a bunch of rubber bushings. Can't do those yet because we have plugs over here to go in. Go oh, and the ignition wires. Okay. Timing chain. pump water pump pulley Crank shaft pulley serpentine belt When was it though? Belt B. There we go. And A. There we go. That's it for up here. That looks like it. Okay. Get that back up. Okay, 
broadcasts are all good. Okay, two crankshaft bearing caps. Regular crankshaft bearing caps. Two of them. Okay, that should be good. go get the oil pan on okay, we've got the flywheel we've got the clutch plate which we need Clutch pressure plate. Okay, and we'll get the starter and the drive shaft. That looks like it might be everything. So it is... The coolant. Looks like everything. Okay. Um, that's not what I'm looking for. Five parts not discovered. Brick fluid. Really? We don't have brick fluid? I could use a little bit, okay. Our steering fluid, really? Yeah, I could use some, I guess. You 
know what? I might as well fill the washer fluid up too, since it's going to make me fill the rest of them. I might as well get that up too. Okay, wheels are not aligned. We're going to drive anyway. We're going to see if we can find these last five pieces that it needs, and uh, we'll go from there. we go. All right, let's see what we've got here. If it's rubber bushings, I will mark those because I'm not going to spend all day looking. <clears throat> okay, what do we have here? It was going to be rubber bushings. So which ones? Okay, and there's one part not discovered. Yep, okay. Okay, so we're going to have to take the front tires off. And there we go. Well, we gained a uh, a level. Okay, there we go. Take this one off. Nope, we don't need that. No, no, no. It's, uh... Okay. Okay. Nope.
suspension cross member. Okay, which one though? E. We got it. And four rubber bushings, right? Yep, four rubber bushings. Let's go. Okay. We're going to make sure we get the brand new ones in on there just so that way Can't be any funny business with them telling me that it's not the right one. Okay. Get that on. And get this on. Actually, nope. Can we... Okay, that's not what I was looking for then. Um... Well then... Go. Those are all good. Perform wheel alignment. How do I perform a wheel alignment? Wow, they're gonna... Wow. I can't do it. I really can't do it. Um, okay, I took this one too early. Uh, power steering fluid, drain and fill. Okay. Oh, of course. So the only thing left alignment um so here's what I'm gonna do
Let's say everything that's under 80 is going to be gone. Um, Okay. We actually do have quite a bit that is low. I'll take those as well. Basically, if it's not green, we're going to sell it. We're going to see if we can get over 10,000. Okay. I hate to do this because I have a feeling that once I upgrade my um, repairs, I could probably repair those, but that's fine. Um, sell parts. Okay. Well, that got us over 10. We'll go ahead, we'll buy the test path because we have to. Yep, the test path is right over there, okay. Let's move you to the test path. Go. Okay, um, wheel alignment, there we go. Got it. Hey, we did it. Okay. There we go. And we got a lot of money for that, too. 
Um, so this is our test path. It looks like we have wheel alignments, uh, headlight alignments. And test path. Okay. And this is our paint booth. Okay. I like it. So, with that, we are done. Uh, we have $14,000. Um, so next episode, we're definitely going to be working on our engine and uh, getting that into the car. And yeah, after that, uh, we'll just kind of play it by ear. We'll see how much money we have after that. If we can afford to keep working on our car, we will go ahead and do that. Uh, but I want to thank everybody for watching. My name is All Stream. That hit the like button if you like this type of content. It lets me know that you like this particular type of content and would like to see more. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. And follow me on Twitter, Twitch, or on Twitter and Discord. The links will be in the description below. Have a wonderful day.